Hey everybody, it's Dewey again. Uh, we just had lunch over at the uh, the airport cafe in Urbana Grimes. Now we're over at the uh, Champagne Air Museum here in Urbana. So I'm gonna walk you guys in here, let you see what's going on. Uh, they're building a B-17, so I'm gonna let you see the progress. This B-17, they've been working on this thing for about 10 years, and they're probably about 10 years to go, but uh, it's quite the project. And uh, a couple of World War II vets in here, uh, I just ran into a buddy, Greg. He said they're celebrating a guy's uh, 93rd birthday today. Also, uh, there's someone here from Pearl Harbor. And uh, let's see if maybe we can run into one of them. All right, here we are in the lobby. And there's a little poster here of the, uh, this is home of the Champagne Lady B-17 Project. We're going to show you guys what this is all about. And uh, here's Greg Schaefer. And he's from, I believe, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, Greg, how you doing? How you doing, Dewey? <laughs> Welcome to the Champaign Aviation Museum, uh, home of the B-17 project. Um, we also have several other static display aircraft. We have a Stinson, A-24 Fairchild, uh, B-25 Champagne Gal. Uh, and right inside the door here is a C-47 that we actually let you go up inside, sit in the pilot seat, uh, take photos with your children. We just ask them not to start the plane. Uh, we also, our website, champagneaviationmuseum.org, and we also have Facebook pages, B-17 Champagne Lady, B-25 Champagne Gal, and of course CAM for Champagne Aviation Museum. Uh, welcome, Dewey. Um, here you can see in our museum, it's uh, ladies first when you walk in. You, you can see the, the contribution some of the WASP ladies made uh, during World War II. Uh, they just didn't build them, they also got to fly the, the planes. Uh, fly them overseas. Uh, we also, back in October 2015, we had the pleasure of having six of the WASP here uh, visit the museum. and. The thing that was, uh, one of the many things that was exciting for me was they walked around to these photos when they walked in and talked about some of these ladies that they spent time with in Texas. Really? Um, they got to go down, uh, of course it was dry back then, so they flew down to Mexico to get alcohol to fly back to the base so they could have, <laughs> have a good time. And in fact, one of the ladies here was uh, Shusty Reynolds. Uh, she was a WASP pilot, and you can see some of the planes that she got to fly, the PT-17, the AT-6. Uh, she was here and given some of her history. So she was here? She was actually in the museum, yeah. Oh, uh, she right. She visited. Uh, it was part of uh, one of the schools in Springfield. They were. It was in tribute to uh, Carla Bosco Bailey. She was okay. actually, uh, actually a WASP here from Springfield, Ohio. Let's take a look here. She's from Springfield, huh? Local. Look at the long list of planes that she flew. Wow. Now, she actually has a altitude record. She set the altitude record. So she flew P-47s, B-25s, B-26s, PT-19s, BD-13s, AT-6s. Wow. Very impressive. So how do you pronounce her name again? Carlo, Carla Bailey Bosca. Wow. And they had one of the planes sitting out here in the museum that was dedicated to her. And I think her, yeah, this is this is actually right here, the altitude record. Okay. The actual photo. I'll let you read that there. That's that's pretty important. Oh, okay. I know who this is. Uh, Ted Teach built a Pitts that is modeled after uh, this Pitts here. She was world champion aerobatic pilot. Right. So that plane sat here in the museum. Miss Bailey. Yeah. Uh, when she was here, I so, take you up to another one. Neil Bryan here. Okay. She actually had five hundred over five hundred hours in a in a B twenty five. And the story, you know, she's towed no, the targets. Right. Wow. And she was in with the Wasp ladies. Uh, huh. They were in a formation one day, and they buzzed the, buzzed the troops, <laughs> and not all of them hit the deck. Okay. And, and one guy here, you can see he ran through the desert waving, his, uh, waving a white flag because she went around twice for a second pass and really got <laughs> low on him. 
And she talked about that experience. And she came to... She was also at the museum wow. with, the, with the ladies. Dawn so. was also here with the ladies. Okay. And she was the first uh, lady to be checked out as a B-17 pilot. Wow. It, it, was a, it was a very, very important day for me because I've never met a wasp before. And I, you know, I don't know all the history of the wasps. So to spend time an afternoon with these ladies, uh, it, it was an honor. Yeah. Uh, Tom even, they were out testing the B-25. So Tom, after they were done flying it, they pulled it right up to the hangar door, right in front of the ladies, and they were all standing there just oohing and on. Wow. So w what an honor. Well, I, I noticed uh, through Facebook with you, you're here a lot volunteering your time. and uh, Most of my time was yeah. volunteering with the veterans. Yeah. Uh, I don't spend much time on the, on the aircraft itself. Um, mostly my time is with the veterans. That's what, uh, that's what I enjoy the most right now. Sure. Uh, George Snook, Red Ketchum, Art Kemp, uh, full-time World War II veterans that volunteer here on Saturdays. Uh, it, it's an honor to know these guys. I, I follow you a lot on Facebook, and I, I get to see a lot of that. And uh, This museum does bring in a lot of uh, history here and a lot of really just hidden stories that you know many of the, us... The veterans are, are the biggest part. Uh, when they walk in and touch the plane and... You can tell it takes them back to when they were 18, sure. 19 years old. Uh, 2012, we had the honor of having the 401st uh, bomb group in here, which is what the B-17 is dedicated to, the Triangle S, during, uh, during World War II.